What's going on? Pete Francis for Blues Rock Review with album releases for April 2017. And there's some good stuff this month, and we'll get started with Richie Kotzen's Salting Earth. Now, a lot of people have gotten familiar with Richie Kotzen's music in the last couple years through his band, The Winery Dogs, which is just a great rock band, and they've put out two really strong albums the last few years. But Richie Kotzen has been a really strong solo artist for many years, and Salting Earth is his 21st solo album. And there is some of the rock stuff that you'd expect from the Winery Dogs and would fit well there. But there's also a lot of different styles. You've got funk, you've got soul, and of course you've got Richie's great guitar playing. So really, there's something there for everybody on this album. He's already released a couple music videos for the album, and this is something he released on his own label. So if you're a Richie Kotzen fan, or if you're not even familiar with his work yet, it's definitely worth checking out. Henrik Freischlatter is back with a new album this month, Blues for Gary. And Henrik Freischlatter is a pretty prolific German blues rock artist, and he's put together a lot of really great albums in recent years, and he's been putting out albums pretty much almost every single year. And he's been on Blues Rock Review's Top 20 Albums of the Year list a couple times. Definitely a very accomplished player. Now this album's a little different because this is a tribute album to Gary Moore. So the album features Gary Moore covers, and what's pretty cool is Henrik Freischlatter actually got a couple members of Gary Moore's band to perform on this. And there's also some really cool guests on here. Ben Poole makes an appearance on this album. So there's definitely a lot to digest on this album. It's really a guitar player's album. You don't even hear Henrik Freischlatter sing on this album. But if you're a guitar fan, which most blues rock fans are, you're gonna like this. There's some nice, really nice instrumentals on this album. So this is definitely one worth checking out. Little Hurricane released their first album with the mascot label group this month. And this is kind of an interesting blues inspired duo out of San Diego. Something that I found really cool about this album is they actually have a traveling studio. So they've recorded this album in a lot of different places than California, Lake Tahoe, and they kind of use that as inspiration for the album. And they have a lot of different styles, you know, ranging from blues, uh, classic rock, alternative pop. So if you're into kind of an eclectic mix of music, then this album is definitely worth checking out. Mr. Sip released his new album this month, Knock a Hole in It. And this is a new artist for Blues Rock Review. We haven't really covered him in the past. He's been predominantly a gospel musician for many, many years, but now he's kind of moving over into the blues realm. Uh, back in 2014, he won the International Blues Challenge, so that's where he started to get some notoriety, and now he's releasing this album, and this is really kind of a modern blues rock album. You got a lot of great guitar work. So if you're looking for somebody new, uh, someone who, you know, maybe you haven't heard before, check out Mr. Sip. That's gonna wrap up this edition of album releases. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And really the best way to kind of keep up with what's going on at Blues Rock Review is our email list. So if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, go to our website, bluesrockreview.com. On the sidebar, you can enter your email address, just click submit, boom, it's that easy. And you subscribe and you'll get all the latest updates of what's going on. From here on out, we'll be releasing the album releases video on the first day of every month. I'm Pete Francis. Thanks for watching.